just as we're passing the submergible bridge, we we heard them turning it on. Uh, so they they they, yeah, they barely wait for us to pass. <laughs> that, that, they're going. So that's the Rio Ontario uh, bridge. We need to pass under it um, to get to the current canal. Um, and currently there's no wind, but we've been having strange wind. Winds, um, not for, as for the forecast, I guess it's all the acceleration zones around here. Now, look at this, the amount of birds. It's gonna drive out completely nuts. Less than an Nautica mile from crossing the bridge. Um, we thought we were gonna cross on this side between M3 and M4. However, um, BTS uh, Anterio, the name of this um, bridge, uh, told us to cross between these two pollens here, uh, which is M1 and, M, uh, and M2. So we had to cross from the other side of where we were in front of a cargo ship to get to here. But anyway, we're here. And this will be our second bridge crossing. Uh, the first time was in Lisbon. So the clearance in this side is supposed to be around 32 meters. Uh, let's see. It looks very tight. Look at that. So, cross the bridge? Cross the bridge, no fears. No fears. <laughs> we'll add about another 10 meters above us on the other side of the bridge. So, all good. So we took a break off the boat, uh, we left it in Etia, our first port of entry in Greece. Took a bus ride and we're um, up on the mountain in Delphi, checking out the Delphi archaeological site. Pretty much all to ourselves. Yeah, we're having a good time. Having a good time. The view is impressive. Yeah. Um, both of the archaeological site and also to the other side of the mountain. So, we're almost at the top. So, Delphi is somewhere in here. And this is the valley. And Itea is right there right on the, the water. Boat. That's where the dream stayed. Quite nice this valley, can't see it from Itaya. It's not perceptible. Okay, so the sun's on our eyes, but you can see the channel there. We've been asked to wait. Uh, I think we've got to wait for the submersible bridge. The bridge has got to be lowered so we can cross it within the channel. I'm very excited about crossing the canal. John, on the other hand, is like, eh. uh, it's a canal. <laughs> We're stuck. We're waiting. We're waiting. They've asked us to wait. So. But on the right side, the wind has completely died off. Fingers crossed that I'm not jinxing it. And we're waiting for the bridge, which we can't see, which we can't see to to drop. So it's a submergible bridge. 
and they need to submerge it so that we pass. All right, one hour waiting, and this is it. We're going. Yes, we're alive. This guy just came out, and we got our clearance to go, and now we're gonna go. So this is the breakwater for the canal and just over there where the pilot boat is, there's a floating uh, submergible bridge that is now on the water for us to pass. How spectacular is that? Quite an interesting feat of engineering. So. Just as we're passing the submergible bridge, we, we heard them turning it on. Uh, so they they to be able to see they, yeah, they barely wait for us to pass. It's just like, yeah, they're going. Anyway, pretty exciting. I know, pretty exciting. So, a bridge wall just appear over there. It's a little more exciting now. Ah, there you go. Just a little. There you go. So tell me, John, how excited are you now? That's it, very exciting. Here we are, crossing the current canal. Exciting! Anyway, I'm gonna pass under this bridge and then under the other one, and I think I might have to go call um, on VHF to submerge the other bridge also. Let's see. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and check out our social media. Head out to our Patreon page and buy the dog a bone.